Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you the set default method. So what it does is basically set the default value for a key if it is let's say not present here that it will add it and the add the default value for it. So what I am going to do is first of all I will show you uh, the let's say for an existing key if we try to change a value with the help of set default. So maybe in case of Japan, what I can do is I can say set, try to set the default value. So it will change it only when it is missing, right? So in this case, it should not change. So my key is Japan and my value is 1000, right? But if I say sales, all right, let me that. So Japan is 700, right? Now let's say what we try to do is there is a new key which is a Spain and uh, right now we don't have a value. So let's give it a default one which is none. So it should ideally create a value which is a Spain or key and value should be none. So if I go and sorry, uh, simply I'll just change the value to Spain. However, it is not really necessary. I'm just showing you I was just showing you for the Japan sales Spain and now you'll see that our new value is added Spain with a default value which is none also um, when you try here in this case I'll again go to Japan and uh, what I'll do is I will specify Japan but not specify anything so in that case what it does is it takes the existing value of Japan and assign it to the object over here. So if I go and execute this and say Japan, it will give me 700, which I can then further use for my any other data processing operation.